Hey guys, John Lindquist here. Let's talk about the adapter pattern. So the adapter pattern helps you to take two libraries or two separate code bases, uh, things that weren't made to work together and, and helps them to work together. So in our example here, we have the StarCraft units, so a Zealot, a Marine, and a Zergling. And you can see that the Zergling um, has an attack function. You know, it's just gonna say Zergling client attack. And that is defined in the iUnit interface. So every, all of my units are all going to have this attack function. So once we actually start using this, um, you can see I'm going to loop through all of the units and tell them all to attack. So if you see this in action, it's basically just going to do a zealot slash attack, marine firing gun, zergling clawing attack. Now what if uh, your boss tells you, oh, well, now we've made a contract with Nintendo and we have to have Mario as a StarCraft unit. And they send you the SWIC or, um, you know, a complete library of stuff that you can't touch and you're not allowed to uh, refactor or change any code base. So if you look at the Mario class, the Mario API would just be the jump attack. Um, he's not actually... Uh, attacking or using that same attack function there. So if you're to create Mario, and you try and pass him in here, um, you know, Mario wouldn't even be called in here because he's not an I unit. Um, or if you just switch to everything in the units array, you'd have to put in a special case to say, if this is a Mario, then call jump attack or you'd have to work around this with some special case. So instead of doing that, let's set up something called an adapter for Mario. So instead of creating a new Mario, we're going to create a new Mario adapter. And we'll just put this in our pattern craft adapter package. So if you look in the Mario adapter, how we're going to do this is we'll make this class uh, implement iUnit, just like all of our other uh, StarCraft uh, units do, and then we'll implement the I, the attack method, and now we're going to create an instance of Mario. So we'll just say um, private var Mario is a Mario, and create a new Mario. So now that we have a Mario in our Mario adapter, we can forward on this uh, attack method to just pass it to the Mario jump attack. And we could also take any sort of parameters from the attack, like, you know, the how much damage it was caused or whatever, and, you know, adapt them to whatever uh, the Mario jump attack parameters would need to be. Uh, so now that we have a Mario adapter set up, uh, we can jump back to our main class. We can create our Mario adapter, um, make sure that he's an I unit just like uh, the other guys, pass him in to... Um, the array of units, and then we can simply debug this, and you should see that now that we have Mario in there, we have a guy jumping on the bad guy's head. So close this back up, and let's just quickly do the same thing with, uh, we have a, a Sonic class, uh, so Sonic is going to use a spin attack, you know, it's different from a jump attack, and so all we're going to do is create a new Sonic adapter, uh, create the class, put it in pattern craft adapter, uh, hit OK, and you know, make sure again that it implements iUnit. So that's going to have attack. We'll need an instance of a, uh, a Sonic. And once we have the instance of Sonic, we can just say Sonic uh, Spin Attack. So now that we have our Sonic adapter set up, simply go back to the main class, um, create an instance of him, and now we'd have a Sonic adapter. And once we run this this time, 
Now Sonic is working just the same way as the rest of our code base is. So we have all of our StarCraft units, we have Mario and Sonic, um, all doing their specific types of attacks. So, I mean, obviously one thing you'd want to do is, um, just so this looks more like a, um, like a native or someone who actually belongs, instead of calling this an adapter, you could just call him a Mario. Instead of calling this an adapter, you could just call him a Sonic. And then you'd pretty much never know the difference looking at the rest of your code that he, that they didn't belong there. Um, so that is the adapter pattern. Uh, obviously, you'd, you'd have a lot more methods other than just one simple attack method. There'd be different parameters you'd have to account for. Um, but this pattern is just there to uh, help you make these two different code bases work together um, by simply creating a class that implements the same interface that your other classes do, creating an instance of that either legacy code or a different library or whatever, and then implementing those methods, which would then call the legacy code methods um, or you know other library, whatever, and implement whatever logic is necessary to make them work together within this class. So you'd always create an adapter um, instance, which would contain the instance of your uh, of your legacy uh, object. So there you go. That's the adapter pattern. Hope that helps.